Hey there, welcome back. So today we're going to be adding a progress bar to our score. Let me make this bigger so you can see it even better. I know the score looks tiny here, but on a cell phone it actually looks okay. So the way this works is the more points we score, the more that bar increases up to an amount that would be considered like the level cap or level goal for score. So uh, on this particular version I have 5,000 the level goal. It's going to keep increasing until it reaches there. So stick around and let's dive right in. Okay, so what we want to do first is open up our scenes folder. Don't want a quick run of scene, I just want to look at my scenes folder. I'm going to go down and find the top UI scene. So what I want to do is I want to make a bar here that uh, increases as the score increases. And each level is going to have like a, a score goal, like a max score goal. And I mean, you could even break it down further and have like a one star goal, a two star goal, and a three star goal. But for us, we're just going to look at a max score goal for the level. So uh, what I'm going to do here, the way this is laid out, I have uh, my margin container, which contains everything. And then I've got a horizontal box container, which is split into three sections, one, two, three. Now I want this second section here to have more than one thing in it. I want it to have a score and then down beneath it, the score bar. So what I'm going to do is my horizontal box container, I'm going to add a new child mode, which is a vertical box container. And that's going to mess everything up for a second. Uh, I'm going to move this up here above the score label. And then I'm going to make the score label a child of that container, which again, messes everything up. So what I want to do is with my vertical box container that I just added, I want to go to my size flags, horizontal, and expand. And that should bring things back pretty much to how they were. Now, what I want to do here is I'm going to make my uh, score label smaller. So on my score label, I'm going to go to the custom fonts, and I'll open that up. And I'll make this a size of, say, 20 is going to make it significantly smaller. Um, and I'll turn on filter too as well so it doesn't look too bad. All right, now for my vertical box container I'm going to add a new child and this is going to be a texture bar or texture progress is what it's called. All right, now my score label here I'm going to adjust its margins. So, right is 157. My texture progress. I'm going to have this. Uh, where's my size flags? There they are. Uh, vertical, it's going to expand and fill. And then my score label, I'm going to turn off the size flag for expand for vertical. So it's just going to fill. And for my texture progress, I'm going to turn off the expand as well, even though I like just turned it off. There we go. Um, all right, cool. Now, in the itch.io uh, assets folder, I've included uh, two bars, one for the background and one for the foreground. And I must not have added that to this yet. So let me add that really quickly here. Okay, so the two things are called score bar fill and score bar background. So I'm going to grab both of these and just drag them into my art folder here. And for my texture progress, I'm going to take a look at the textures. For under, that's going to be the background. And for progress, that's going to be the fill. Alright, there we go. Now, currently, it's set to have... Oh, I'm also going to turn on 9-patch. Nope. I guess I want 9-patch stretch off. I thought I wanted that on. Um, so currently, uh, the max value is 100, and its uh, current value is at 0. So if I edit this, you can see it fill or not fill. So if I have it at, like, 50, it's half full. Right now, it's kind of off-center, though. So want to change that a little bit. Um, 
my V box container. Yeah, it's because my vertical box container is slightly off. So I'm gonna go to my my margin, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, my left margin is zero. Oh, my H box container. That's the problem. So my margin container already goes to there. My H box container needs to have no margins. So I'm going to change this left margin to zero. Oh, maybe. Oh, because my margin container already has margin set up. That's why. So zero, zero, zero. Hmm. That wasn't right. All right, so just want it to be like there, or not even there, like there. That would put its margin where? Margin left negative four. Okay, what happens when I actually play this? Is it going to keep the margin where I want it? Oh. Yeah, we got to fix something in the script before I can look at this. So in the top UI script, when we were making it, we created a label for the score. And since I've changed stuff around, that's not where the score label is anymore. Uh, it is now, let me go into distraction free mode. So my score label needs to be margin container, hbox container, and then inside of that, vbox container, and then score label. And yeah, it just duplicated the score label part. Cool. So let me see what this looks like when I play it. Yeah, it's still it's still not right. You go to my H box container and I'm gonna put this with a margin of Oh yeah, that's the margin that wouldn't change. Um <laughs> what happens if I turn my separation up just a little bit? 40, let's go 44. That's better. Let's go. Oh, now it's, it's pushing everything else away from it. All right. Okay, I'm done messing with it for now. Um, so if we open up the top UI, what I want to do is pretty much the same thing that I um, already set up here. Like I already have a signal coming to this to update stuff. So what I want to do is I'm going to make two new functions. One is to set up the, um, the texture bar. And so I'll make a reference to that. I'm ready of our, call this score bar is equal to margin container, hbox container, texture bar, or texture progress. And then I'm gonna create a function to set that up. So set up score bar. And then this is gonna to have to take an argument, which is what I want to set it up to be. So going to have this be max score and then I will take the score bar dot max value is equal to max score so I'm just setting the so it's not always um, 100 you know you might want to have 5,000 be your top score or 10,000 or something like that so I'm going to save that the other thing I want to create is a function to update the bar so function update bar score bar and then just like when I'm updating the counter um, yeah not the counter but the score just like when I'm updating the score um, I'm gonna call that like an amount that I wanted to change so actually I don't have to do that at all because I already have a reference to what the current score is so I'm gonna say score bar dot value is equal to 
current score. Um, okay, cool. So I'm going to save that. And now when I'm updating my score, I'm going to increase my current score, and then I'm going to set my score label text. I'm also going to update the score bar. And then I'm going to have a signal that's going to make that what the current score should be from my uh, from my grid. All right, so if I go out of here, if I hit play, I just want to make sure that the bar is going to be there. Cool. So it starts out with a value of zero, and it looks like it's sizing correctly, which is good. So let's go to our game window scene. I want to go to my grid, and I want to make some more score variables here, which I already kind of created. So my scoring variables, I've got my update score. I'm going to create another signal to set up max score, and then an export integer value for, we'll call this max score. All right, so what I want to do in my ready function, and this can happen kind of way down here at the bottom, is I want to emit signal, set up max score, and then I want to send in the max score value I just created. I did call it max score, right? I did. All right, cool. Now I want to connect that signal from the grid. So I'll go to node, uh, find that setup max score. I'll connect that to top UI. And in top UI, I'll just call since this has a value that's being passed in, max score, set up score bar, max score. All right, cool. We can get rid of this pass function down here. And then save this on my grid here, in my inspector. I want to find what my max score is. I'm going to set it to 5,000. All right. And now all of the logic should be in place. Let's find out. Let's hit play here. All right, cool. So now I'm going to start making some matches. And you can see that already a tiny, tiny sliver of the score bar is going in up there. So if I play for just a little bit more, I should see it uh, filling up as a percentage of the max score, which is 5,000. So you can see right now we're at 290. Um, if I start filling stuff in, it's, uh, it's going to go up and it'll automatically default like if it goes more than whatever the max value is it's not going to cause an issue because that's already worked out in Godot's logic um, so yeah there we go we've got a score bar so the next thing we're going to talk about is uh, level goals so you know collect four of the blue ones or collect five of the green ones or destroy this many um, icing pieces uh, we're going to do that in two parts. We're going to do one part for the game logic behind that and one part for the UI behind it. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the description down below. Otherwise, you can follow me on Twitter. You can join my Discord. Tons of good people in there. And yeah, I hope everybody out there has themselves a wonderful day. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving a like, subscribing to the channel, or telling a friend who might be interested. Also, please consider following me on Patreon. For as little as a dollar a month, you can earn access to tangible rewards, like early access to videos, backer-only videos and series, polls for future topics, streams, and even individual tutoring sessions. You can find a link to that in the description. And as always, have yourselves a wonderful day.